Roman Navy had a variety of vessels called triremes and quadremes. And these were powered by rowers. And let's say a trireme, which was a vessel that would have 232 rowers in a bank of four. And they at the front had a beak, a bronze beak, which we know as a rostrum, which was a large brass ramming head. The prime weapon of a warship was the, the rostrum, and basically the rowers supplied the power to do the ramming into the enemy ships. Fleets would line up against one another, and then you would just row towards one another. The aim would be either to crash head on and stop the enemy vessel with the two rostra together, or to shear off the oars of the enemy ship, or to move around the enemy ship and crash into the side. So once you've disabled the enemy ship, you can board using your marines, or hopefully just make it sink. Warships of this period were galleys, long, shallow draft vessels powered primarily by ore. There were many classifications of ships, but both sides at Ignomus were composed mostly of conquerums, also known as fives. These were typically around 40 meters long and 5 meters wide, with a complement of about 300 rowers and 120 marines. Traditional naval combat of the time revolved around ramming tactics. Ships relied on speed and maneuverability to strike at the opponent's flank, shearing off oars or rupturing the hull. In this art of war, the Carthaginians were king. The Romans, on the other hand, were new to naval warfare and could not compete on this level. As a result, they sought to redefine the game entirely by focusing on boarding tactics where they could excel at close quarters combat. To this end, they had developed the Corvus, a tall boarding bridge with a spike at the end which could be swiveled and dropped onto enemy decks if they got too close. The difference? That's all, folks.